Fortress can be found in the foothills of the Vosges Mountains. The walled village of Rikveer stands frozen in time. All along its main street there are colourful half-timbered houses dating back to the Middle Ages. These typically Alsatian buildings with their traditional signage plunges centuries back in time. It's important to remember that on Rikveer's High Street there used to be lots of taverns. Some of the owners were coopers or gourmets. Today the term gourmet means someone who likes to eat and drink well. But before the French Revolution there were officers in charge of the wine trade. The local culture is treasured in Rikveer. Some of the village's chefs have revived the dish of sauerkraut by digging out an old recipe. It's a traditional sauerkraut, prepared traditionally. And then we add a reduction of herbs and cream. There's sage, savoury, flat leaf parsley and rosemary. I'm now going to sear the bacon and the goose sausage. This green sauerkraut can only be found along General de Gaulle Street. There are just six restaurants that serve it. Further south, the medieval town of Côte sur ciel is perched majestically over the river Tarn. To take a closer look at its buildings, you'll need to climb the Raymond Set Street, one of the steepest in France. I walk up here every day. It's a bit of a puff, but I get there eventually. This is the heart of the town, the main street. My grandmother used to live here, right over there. She used to tell me that at the beginning of the 20th century, when the sun came out, the street was so full of people that it was difficult to move through the crowds. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? Walking up this street is a stroll through Occitan heritage with the help of these traditional bagpipes. The acoustics are often very good through the alleyways and in the squares. Festivities were held in every street right across town. People and musicians played outside. They stood on barrels or on a makeshift stage. At the top of the town, the street leads to a tiny medieval area. These old houses were once the lavish homes of merchants. The most beautiful living proof we have of the wealth of this town in the Middle Ages, in the 13th, 14th and 15th centuries, are these sumptuous Gothic facades. A walk along the Raymond Set Street in Côte sur ciel is a trip back through eight centuries. We head now to the Basque country and to a community that's just a stone's throw from the Spanish border. 650 people are proud to call Inoa home. Their little village is built around a single street called La Carica. The village is built in the Labourdin style. The houses that face the east and the south all have half-timbered fronts. And those across the street that face west are often built out of stone. Along this street, there are artisans who keep local crafts alive, like Brigitte, who also enjoys a few blasts on her accordion. I've made this Basque cross which represents the four elements, earth, air, water and fire. I'm going to use a wood stain instead of paint because the wood stain brings out the grain. The symbols which echo this region are my main inspiration, so Basque crosses or objects in the shape of the Basque country. This region is so rich that one lifetime isn't enough to do everything. This street is beautiful, the houses are pretty and very well looked after. Then of course we're lucky to have the mountains nearby, it's a little paradise. A little further along, the stonemason Iban is also proud of his Basque roots and his region's traditions. 
Ongi Atori means welcome. Ongi means well, and Atori means to come. The outline is first done in pencil, and then I use a local stone. I'm from Ainoa. It's a village that stayed true to its roots. It hasn't been altered by technology or other developments. We've managed to keep it as it is. And if my work can add to that, then so much the better. Steeped in history and tradition, these streets remain the beating heart of France's towns and villages.